Hi everyone, welcome back to Remote Learning again. We're working from home this week. One of my favourite things about working from home is you can wear whatever you want for your PE lesson. Today I'm going to dress up as a giraffe and I've got my bee helper. Kira, do you want to come in? You can be my bee helper today. Say hi everyone. Hi everyone. So I'm nice and cosy. I wonder what you're going to wear for PE today. You might have something fun to wear for PE. Your first activity today is a Cosmic Kids Yoga. And then I've put a yoga challenge in to see if you can spell out your name with your body. So we'll have a bit of a go at yoga on Cosmic Kids and then we'll do our yoga challenge, seeing if we can use our bodies to spell out our names. You ready, Kira? Okay, let's do Cosmic Kids. practicing the soccer kick from home today. Last week we did really well with our dribbling around the cones, so now we're going to practice some kicking. You could kick with a family member of yours, or you could do it like me. I'm just going to kick up against the wall here on my own. Okay, so to kick a soccer ball, make sure you always turn your foot so that the inside of your foot kicks the ball. Like that. We don't want to use our toe to kick the soccer ball. It might hurt. Make sure when the ball comes back to you, Trap it so it stops rolling. Okay, you can trap it by putting your toe up like this, or you can trap the ball just by putting your foot behind it. Okay. When you kick, make sure you step next to the ball and your foot follows through like that. Trap, okay. step, and kick. I want you to try and do that. 20 times, 20 times. If that's easy for you, make a little goal. I'm gonna make a goal out of my shoes here. So I'll put them up here. There's my goal up there. And now I'm gonna take 20 shots at the goal. So step and kick. When you use the inside of your foot, the ball will always go along the ground. If you use your toe, it might fly up in, in the air as well, which we don't want to happen, okay? Here's what it might look like if you did that. Whoops! <laughs> did not want that to happen, so don't use your toe. Alright, I better go get the ball. Well, I did a toe basher, and now I kicked the soccer ball over the fence. Can't find it, so maybe you're like me, who doesn't have a ball to kick anymore. So you could do this activity using a balloon, trying to see how many times you can kick the balloon without it hitting the ground. You can use your foot, or your chest, or even your head. But since it's soccer, you're not allowed to use your hands or arms. All right, let's see how I go. One, two, three. <laughs> I tried using my head, I only got five. All right, remember you can use your feet as well like this. One. Alright, not sure how many that was, but have fun with that and have fun with Mrs. Doherty's next activity. Oh, and just a reminder, if any of you would like to send us photos or videos of you doing your PE at home each week, just send it straight to our email, okay? Mrs. Doherty and I can't see what's on Seesaw, so just send it straight to us. See ya! For your 
again, last game, you could have a game of balloon volleyball if you want to set up a bit of a net and if you have a balloon. Here is drawn on this one, so that's going to be extra fun. So you can have a game of balloon volleyball or you can make an obstacle course from things around your house. So we set up a few things for Kira to have a go at. Kira, can you do heel toe on the stuff? Good girl. See if you can make an office of course at your lounge room. See how you go. 